JT Welsh again for Business of Books. I wanted to just give you a quick introduction to letterpress printing. I would love to be able to show you our beautiful studio on campus where we do printing with Thin Ice Press, but fortunately that's closed at the moment, so I've got a bit of a makeshift set up here in my garage. So, uh, you can see it's a bit of a mess. It's not the ideal setup, but I have kind of like the little bits, so I'll kind of show you the different parts of printing. The usual version of the story is that Johannes Gutenberg invented printing sometime around 1450. He didn't really invent printing. Uh, Chinese and uh, Koreans had been printing for hundreds of years by that point using all kinds of similar methods. And the basic principle, if you come this way, of, of printing is really that you have a raised surface, you put some ink on it, and you apply pressure, um, and it leaves whatever that is, um, the, either an image or some letters on the paper. So if you look, I don't know how close you can see. So this is a piece of type, yeah? So this is an individual letter A, if you can see that, yeah? Um, you can see it's a, it's a raised surface there, so that goes into the press, the ink goes on the A, the paper goes somewhere in the press, you, you press it together on um, the press, the idea is that the mechanism Mechanism is putting the weight on it. And there are a few different kinds of presses. I'll put some images up on screen. You can see the ones we have in the studio. If you ever have a chance to come see it on campus, we do have a wooden press, very similar to what uh, Gutenberg would have used. Um, these are often known as common presses, and they're, it's, a, it's a hand press, yeah, so it operates by pulling a bar across and it squeezes down. Um, it was sort of based at the time on, on like wine presses and grape presses and other kinds of machines that they already had in operation. It's just that Gutenberg started using it uh, with type and with metal type. So the other main kind of uh, letterpress machine that people use is, is called a platen press. Um, so instead of being horizontal and laying the type flat on the bed of the press, this one sits sort of vertical. It's like a clamshell operation. And this is a small version of that. We have some bigger ones in the studio as well. Um, this is an Adana press. Um, Adana is a brand, they were made uh, in Twickenham in, in, from the 1930s and they recently started making them again because a lot of people have these um, at home. They're really uh, great, reliable little machines that you can use for all kinds of different printing. You can find them on eBay in different places. So I'll just quickly take you through the different steps uh, in printing. And the, and the thing to bear in mind here is that historically, all of these different parts, these different stages would have been done by different people um, in a kind of assembly line way. So you have certain people whose job it was to do the typesetting. So um, this is obviously not a normal typesetting setup, but you can imagine what it was like in old, um, you know, in 16th century printing houses um, with dim light and all these people kind of scurrying around in dangerous conditions. Um, but the basic idea, if you want to come closer and have a look, is that you've got a case of type. So these are all individual letters um, on little bits of metal. Um, these are O's that I just grabbed here. They all live in separate little compartments. Um, this is a combined case. That means that I've got the lowercase on this side and the uppercase on this side. But those names, um, upper and lowercase, come from uh, a separate, separate cases where you would have them actually stacked separately. So you would be taking them uppercase here, lowercase here. And the way that it works when you're printing is you would have uh, these leads, these pieces of metal that you would put in your composing stick. And you would just stand here and you would take the letters one by one. So if I wanted to spell out um, thin ice press, I would take a T, I would take an H. You get to know really quickly where the different letters are. Um, and yeah, they, they could be very quick, you know, if this was your only job and you were stood here hours a day doing this. But you would spell out an entire line, you put in another lead, do another line, and you would just gradually fill up a page. So when you have a few lines, this is what they sort of look like in their leads, and I'm holding them very carefully upright. Um, yes, and you would bring them over uh, in, in, a, in a print studio to the composing stone. I don't have a composing stone, it's a huge uh, block of, of, of metal, that a flat surface for um, doing composition on. So I've got this table here. I would carefully then set this down on that table. And the idea then is that it all needs to be locked together in what's called a form. That's form with an E on the end. For some reason, everything has a funny name. Um, but you use these things, these metal frames. This is called a chase. Um, and you would sort of build out and pack out your form using other bits of metal. These are called furniture for whatever reason. So once you've got the space filled out, uh, you'll need to lock everything in using these coins. That's Q-U-O-I-N. 
um, and you use a coin key to lock them. They're just little wedges, really. And before they were metal, there were, you know, other versions, wooden versions that they could use and that you could um, flush out. And the idea is that this is gonna be so snug that when I lift it up, the type will stay in place. Yeah, you can imagine the disaster if you lift this up and you had an entire page of type crib that all fell out. Yes, but I can carry this form then vertically if it was, you know, in some cases we've got enormous forms on the big iron presses in the studio, but here, just this little 8x5, I can slip it into the press then. So the final stage is printing, yes, and actually the printing is the easiest part of printing, or it's certainly the quickest part of printing. After all that setup, the typesetting, getting it locked into the form, adjusting the press, make sure you've got the pressure just right and the alignment just right, um, different kinds of things. Take a piece of paper, you slip it into the press, like this, yeah? So you can see the type facing out here, and when I press down this handle, the rollers with the ink go over the type, and it's just that simple. Yeah, all the pressure is applied by the machine itself. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, Thin Eyes Press, York, March, April, 2020. Uh, this is just the, the back cover of a little pamphlet I've been printing over the past few weeks, but that's printing.